Good morning. My name is Dominique Pelletier, and I'm the wife of Aaron and the mother to our beautiful two boys, Troy and Zachary. I cannot thank the Connecticut State Police enough for all the support that I have been given since the moment I received the worst news of my life. I find the most comfort in the uniform of the countless troopers that have occupied my house for the last few days. I know how much Aaron was loved, but I had no idea the impact he had on the lives of so many of his fellow troopers. The sense of camaraderie and family within the department was something he cherished deeply. And I know that the same spirit will continue to guide and support us all as we move forward. 536 was always a huge number in our house. It can be seen from the first floor to the third and the tattoo on my arm. With the rip of the Velcro on his vest, Aaron was able to quickly assume the role of husband and dad. He balanced the demands of his profession with the needs of his family, never letting one overshadow the other. Aaron's sense of humor brought joy and stability to our lives. He was a man of integrity and honor, and I will make sure our children always know those traits definitely came from him. Although Aaron was known as being a worker and never one to turn down an overtime shift, he never let that get in the way of his commitment to his family. In a room full of police officers, my challenge to you all is to make sure you make time to make memories. It's okay to say no to the overtime shift from time to time. The first time I saw Aaron in 10 years, he bought me a coffee at the airport that I used to work at at Bradley. Fast forward a year, he bought me a dog, and then another dog, and then Rosso, and Snoopy the cat, and a chicken's coop, and a very large monthly credit card bill he never let me forget about. He never said no to me. He always took care of me. From the day we found out we were having a son, Aaron's dreams of being a t-ball coach came to life. It was then he knew he would pass on his love of the game as demonstrated in his quarterly softball excursions. The light in his eyes when he saw Troy hit a baseball for the first time was like nothing I have ever seen. Whether small feats to big, he was proud to have his two boys carry on the Pelletier name. <sighs> to my honey, you weren't just my husband. You were my home. You were my heart. You were my safe place and my provider. My best friend, my secret keeper, my favorite gossiper. And we loved our trash TV. I can't express how much I will miss your incessant patrol FaceTimes, your cruiser in our driveway, and I am even willing to admit I will miss the way you chewed your food. The light in our smiles will be forever dimmed, and the thought of this world without that laugh seems unimaginable, but has already become real. I promise to keep you alive in our home, in our heart, and in our boys' memories forever. I love you, and I miss you. I just freaking miss you. <laughs> Thank you.